Hey, Tim Frisch with a Frisch Perspective here. Some big news in the Bible publishing world concerning the Thompson Chain Reference Bible. This is a beloved study Bible that's been around for quite some time. It has a lot of information packed into it. It has traditionally been put out by a company called Kirkbride Bible Company and was produced for many years through that company from what I understand. I have some Thompson Chain reference Bibles that are produced by Kirkbride and I have done videos about the Thompson Chain reference Bible. So it is a really good resource. People have loved it so much, but I think there was some concern about the future of the Kirkbride company. Now you can verify in the comments whether that's true, but I think I heard some buzz about them not producing the Thompson Chain anymore, something like that. So that was concerning. But then some good news broke, I think, just yesterday. Zondervan has announced that they are going to be taking stewardship of the Thompson Chain Reference Bibles. So Zondervan will be producing Thompson Chain Reference Bibles in the future. And here is the press release, and it's dated December 3rd, 2020. HarperCollins Christian Publishing acquires the Thompson Chain Reference Bible assets. HarperCollins Christian Publishing today announced its acquisition of the Thompson Chain Reference Bible product assets from Kirkbride Bible Company Incorporated. The Bible brand will be stewarded by the Zondervan Publishing Group under the direction of VP and publisher Melinda Bauma. This acquisition supports the company's initiative to grow its Bible business through innovative products and a multi-translation publishing strategy. The Thompson Chain Reference Bible is a well-recognized topical study Bible that has been in publication for more than 100 years and has editions in five Bible translations, King James Version, New King James Version, New International Version, New American Study Bible, I think they meant New American Standard Bible, and the English Standard Version. At present, Zondervan publishes Bibles in four of these translations, making the Thompson Chain Reference Edition a perfect complement to its portfolio. So I think the four translations that Zondervan already produces would be the King James, New King James, the NIV, and the NASB, not the ESV though. In 1890, a creator of the Thompson Chain Reference System, Dr. Frank Charles Thompson, began working on the chain links that became the foundation of the unique Thompson referencing system that is used by millions of Bible readers across the world. It was first published in 1908 and now contains over 100,000 references, archaeological study, journey maps, and over 100 helpful features to enhance personal or group Bible study. Melinda Bauma commented, Zondervan is honored to uphold the Thompson Chain Reference Bible's legacy it's a timeless resource that brings us new opportunities to reach Bible readers who are interested in the study of topics linked throughout God's Word. With this Bible, the Kirkbride Bible Company has helped people from around the world to have a more engaged and enriched relationship with our Creator, and we are thrilled to now carry that work forward. We are committed to invest and revive this innovative reference Bible and expand its distribution. On behalf of my family and in honoring the legacy of Dr. Thompson, I'm grateful for the missional alignment with Zondervan Bibles in reaching more people with the Thompson Chain Reference Bible now and in the future, said Michael Gage, President and CEO of Kirkbride Bible Company. The first new editions of the Thompson Chain Reference Bibles under Zondervan brand will be released in May 2021. Thompson Chain Reference Bibles that will feature the comfort print fonts as part of the company's Beautiful Bibles initiative will be releasing in May 2022. Now I think a lot of people generally hearing this news have been happy to hear this because it means that the Thompson Chain Reference Bible will continue to be produced and that is good news. Of course I think there were some people that I noticed online put some angry faces, angry emojis, uh, in regard to this press release, and I'm not sure why that is. It just seems like some people are angry about anything. Maybe they don't like Zondervan. But I have to say, personally, I think this is really good news because if Kirkbride was no longer going to produce these Bibles, it's great to know that there is a company that has picked this up 
and I think Zondervan is actually going to do a very good job and it's actually going to improve the product I think for the future. One of the things that I've noticed about a company like Zondervan and they talked about it there, they have a beautiful Bibles project so they'll actually be putting the Bible out eventually in their comfort print font which is going to be really neat and these are beautiful fonts that are designed by 2K Denmark then they're not only nice looking but they're really nice to read. Also Zondervan makes their Bibles with some really good materials. I just mentioned recently in a Bible review about this Zondervan NIV value thin line and this is considered a very inexpensive Bible but even this Bible has pretty good material and the pages are quite opaque and very easy to read from. So even their less expensive products that Zondervan puts out are quite good quality. When you compare that to what Kirkbride was putting out more recently, you know, traditionally Kirkbride had some really nice Bibles, but this genuine leather cover Bible, uh, it's a New King James Thompson chain, it's not very good for genuine leather. Uh, it just doesn't have a nice feel to it and it doesn't seem really high quality. Also the paper isn't very opaque it has some show through and of course people for many years have complained about the red letter in the Thompson Chain Bibles. So I really think Zondervan is going to help with the printing and the materials in the Thompson Chain Bible. Also as they said they're going to be putting it out in multiple translations. I'm sure it will be at least in the translations that they're already producing. As I said the KJV, probably the New King James Version, the NIV, maybe the NASB. I don't know that Zondervan would produce the ESV, so I know that's a disappointment to ESV fans if Zondervan doesn't produce that. But it does sound like the Thompson chain is going to have some really nice products in this study Bible edition and in some really good translations. So overall, this is excellent news, even though Kirkbride, it sounds like, is no longer going to produce the Thompson chain reference Bible, the Thompson chain reference Bible legacy will continue on thanks to Zondervan. If you would like news on the updates of this, Zondervan does have a website here and I will put a link to this so that you can go to this website and it says register to continue to receive emails about the Thompson Chain Reference Bible and be the first to hear about Zondervan's Phase 1 publishing plan. So you can sign up for those updates. I just wanted to share this really interesting and I think exciting information that came out in the Bible publishing world. I know there's been quite a buzz about this. It'd be great to hear what you think about the Thompson Chain Reference Bible and about this news in the comments section. Just try to keep those comments positive and helpful to discussion. But thank you so much for listening to what I have to say from a first perspective.